uh, Thursday, February 2nd, sorry, March 2nd, 2023. I guess it was March the 1st, wasn't it? I think I said 28th. But anyway, day 39 of my $100 account challenge. I'm currently watching these few things right here. Uh, first of all, I'm just a guy on the internet who loves trading stocks. I am not a professional. I am not licensed to give any kind of financial advice. I'm just chronicalizing my trades. Just trying to see how I do throughout the year. Starting with only a hundred bucks. Uh, so do not follow what I do. Uh, so with that being said, let's get to it. Here's my top four watching stocks I'm watching right now. I said that all wrong. Here's my top four stocks that I'm watching right now. I'm watching for its crossover here on ONCS, as well as recover on BRTX. If you look here at my current top four, those are right there. So I'm doing the second is we're going to add all my stocks to a smaller account because I already added it here already. So BRTX. ONCS I'm gonna line this one do a nope um, uh, that's a spot that touched twice that touched that part twice all right so I currently have 62 63 bucks we're gonna say Available to trade today, so I'm putting in six three right there, and uh, we got text messages coming in. Zila, nice reverse on CS. Yep, that's what I was talking about. Reverse on ONCS. Good catch, quick. Uh, let me add my my stocks to my watch list on my smaller account. Bigger account. Right? Uh, we have BRT NTC BPTS EFS eight zero. DM All right. Let me update over here too because a couple of them popped in I didn't have at first. I'm pretty sure. Then we check news and floats and all that stuff. For the Zilla. Tesla hit my one eighty five, bought more. Oh, the pull back. Let me see. See pull back on Tesla. One eighty five four two. That was a low. Let me go twenty hour four minute. Sorry, twenty day four hour. Go further. On an 80 day, 4 hour. There's one on one right here. 
on 1 6 2023. It's curving back up, look like. Yeah, 314 on 8 22 before split. What's the fourth one? BPTS. Okay. Uh, what's the news? Any news? Yes, news on BRTX, ONCS. No news. This is a general healthcare move. Look like MTC. No news. And news is on BPTS. Check the floats. BRTX less than three million share float. ONCS, not even one million share float. MTC, not even two million share float. BPTS less than 14 million share float. Okay, so let me look at this crossover on BRTX and ONCS. ONCS pulled back, one minute chart, green, 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 then now we got a red. 15 minute chart, it popped up here, it's pulled back. The first green to pass, the previous red, or the green to green move on the 15 minute. But you look up here, it's riding the EMA, which is at 266. View app is at 271. So if I bought, let me see, I have 64 bucks. That's 30 cent. Trace, retrace. That's banging that line on the one minute chart. See that? So. Divided by, we're going to say uh, 385. That's 16. So I'll put 15 right there. Check that. EXT. Watch it for a minute. It's 910 right now. A little too early for me to trade. However, if my mood pops, I'm going to hop in it. So I'm looking for a 385 ish buy in point. So Good call, quick. You own it.
Minute 386. For a move to four bucks. That's fourteen cent. Fourteen cent. So I need thirty eight cent for ten percent. Thirty eight cent would be for twenty four. This is the budget line right here. I'm gonna take it a full twenty cent. Twenty one cent. ONCS will buy two uh, I'm typing it, it's hitting my number. As I'm typing it, it's hitting the number. Eighty seven still banging on uh eighty eight. Eighty nine. Ninety. Let's see, we doing ninety. Let's go. Doing ninety again. Keep going. We're at nine fifteen right now. Top ninety. I see you quit. Good stuff, man. Quick thirteen cents per share. Not bad. This is recovering. This uh, BRTX move is recovering. I got my sale order at 20 cents above where I bought it at. But I see it making a strong bullish move out of before the market right into a halt. Two million share float. And it has news. 68 on ONCS I call it the buy in, right? Makes it bigger. See what it's doing over here? So, BRTX pulled back 60 cents, right? Half of that would be 30 cents, right? So, if I get in at 380, 386, what I did, cut the difference in half, that'd be uh, 4610. But it's a little more than half. So, 406, what I got my sale order at. Would be identical to half the pullback. What's what's the volume looking like in BRTX? 
I got in early than I wanted to, but uh, I liked the movie it was doing at that point, so I got in. What's the volume BRTX? Let's look at the candles. Trade. Most volume is traded right here. 129,000 shares at 385. I got in 386, right? See the five, the 15 minute chart? Look at that. The one red candle pulled back. Now we got the green. They go green to green move on the one minute. Let's watch. Ninety. Let's do ninety. Can I buy one or two more shares? Yeah, one more share. It's watching for right now. I had 268 support on ONCS to buy it. And this is banging 265 and so on and so forth. Uh, nothing else popping up right now. We just hover around 386, but I bought in that. It's hovering around 86, 87, 86, 87, 90. Once it pops this $4 mark, we're probably going to halt during market. I can almost guarantee it. So you really already got in right about here anyway. Same price I'm at right now, 385. Let me turn around. Let's see what's up over here. Oh we at over here. Still at three eighty six. Okay. We had 920, and we still at my buy-in point, 388, 386, 387, which is good because the market open is going to take off. Okay, now it's pulling back. All good. I ain't tripping.
See that, see that line is banging? That's the support line right there. Look at the clock, 921. See, I could have got in a little cheaper price. It banged it and popped right back up. See that? It banged the point, popped back up. We got nine minutes for the bell. Looking for this crossover right here. Once this crossover happens, we in there. ATXR. It's a small float, 10.2 million market cap. Sorry, small company, 10.25 million market cap. Has a 2 million share float. Has news. Top three things I like. Leading gapper, 41%. 100% would be 5, we're going to say 560, 558. So 100% move over. So we got to te technically move another dollar and 70 cents from where we at right now, technically. Which is way up here, dollar seventy higher from where we are right now, would be about four fifty, sorry five fifty, which is way up here off screen, which means it must hold on volatility. <clears throat> I'm gonna stay over here because this is the one I'm in. This one I'm gonna trade for sure, and watch the movement on it. The EMA and VWAP at the same number, which is what I wanted at the beginning. Let me watch it. Let's watch it right quick. So I'm gonna go over here and say BRTX and trade that. There we go. Crossover. There we go. I don't want to sell yet though. Take it a little higher. It almost sold on me. <clears throat> They almost sold on me. As I was telling you about that, it ran, right? My point was 404 or 406. Let's go. That hit 404. You gotta have a lot more than one dollar, you know what I'm saying? There you go, go four dollars, let's go. Pop this four dollar mark. There we go, here go four again, pop through it, pop through it, pop through it, pop through it, four one, four two. We need green candle right here. Let's go. Four. I need a uh, need a little more. Now, of course, I can get out now at ten cent and be done with it, right? But we're not doing that. I know we can do a lot more than that. Everything is telling me it's gonna hit the four twenty mark. Yeah, here going the buyers right here. We put it right here a little higher at four fourteen. Load the next person. What's the time in sales? You're gonna buy it. The buyer's all coming in. You got four minutes.
I said 268, right? They moved in tangent, look like. We got two and a half minutes to the bell open. I'm still green on BRTX, but I should get a little more. Look over here. The 15 minute chart, a red to green candle. If it popped this point, but it pulled back, I need to make support of this. Over here, the one minute chart, we had a little small profit taking right here. And now we still got some sellers coming in. But I'm telling you, at market open, this thing is going to run. And I know this already, so I'm just watching for a second. I could have got out four bucks; it would have been fourteen cent. And once you understand that, I could have made fourteen cent, but I just know it's going to run more. They're going to pull back for profit taking. All good. Let me go back over here. My trade. I'm at 414. Which would be almost 30 cents. We got one minute left before the market opens. Bottom left. Bottom right. Locked in. Okay. You got to reverse right here. You got to reversal. Also hit reversal. We lock in to my trade icon. Take away this. Go to the top. Make sure I got BRTX in there. And let's go. She is banging this line. Big buyer, big buyer, big buyer. Come on, what are you doing here? Manipulation. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. Give, me, give me my 20 cent. Look at that big old candle right there. Oh, look at this big old buy candle right here. Okay, oh yeah. It's hitting my point. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. He's 
Red to green move right here in the bottom right. Needs to buy buy person to come in. Here come the buyers. There they go. Four. We keep hitting this four. Pop this four. Pop this four. Look at all them sellers. Look at that. Profit taken. Let's go. I could get out of it, quit playing with it. Let me take the four dollars and be done with it. Let's see what it does right here. Come on. They fight and they try to keep it below, but it can't. The float too small. That's 13 cent. You go ahead and just go ahead and add some more to watch list. It's going to pop this 100% mark for sure. No way. Don't be greedy, right? Let me take off this sale order. I can buy one, right? So I'm going to buy one. Now I got 16. And now I'm at 384, which is not much lower than what it was at the beginning. 84, 19, 4. $4. See this right here? This move didn't make sense at all. It should have popped this point with the ease. It ran up to four, this wall, twice. Then it pulled back twice. It has to pop. Look at the five minute. We pulled back to right here, this line. Sorry, 15 minute. We, hang, we hit this point, this channel the whole time. We bang it, we pull back. We bang it, we pull back. See that? We kept banging the same point. One, two, three, four times in a row. <clears throat> Before it went through. I'm going to leave it there for now. I said I wanted four bucks. I got four bucks. Didn't sell. Right here, I say uh, three ninety wall to NCS. Thought I said thought I said four bucks. I didn't call four bucks. I called it on video. I didn't call in. Yeah, yes. Yeah, looking for four bucks, but I got it in at three eighty six. I caught it on video. You got four bucks? I didn't sell.
It's crazy how I didn't sell at four bucks. It might cost me a loss being greedy. So got my little ten cent, get out the way, right? But I've been bearish for the last hour or so. I've been bearish since. Nine o'clock. And tiny flow. So is ONCS. NXTP. <laughs> Let's watch this for a minute, see what happens over here. Take the money and dip. See, yet again, I'm treating this account like a larger account. I'm trying to uh, get more share, more money. Let me phrase that. I'm treating this account like a, treating this account trying to force it to be a large account. What I'm doing is trying to get more money, so I will hold the shares too long. Now, of course, if I would have bought that same stock at the same price, and I would have bought 1,000 shares, yeah, I could have sold it for, you know, 12, 13, 14 cents, 140 bucks. Because I'm buying so less shares, I'm trying to get more money. So I'm holding it way too long. And because of that, I missed my outs. It gonna move here on ONCS. You notice ONCS and BRTX is moving almost in tangent. 89 ONCS. And there goes my sale order. Made nine sixty on ONCS.
What are we doing over here? BRTX should have made the move it's supposed to make. But it didn't. We have 58 still. We are negative for over 30 minutes. I'm going to leave my cell order there. I'm not going nowhere. We can watch it live together. I'm down four bucks. Shouldn't be. Should have got our way back here. Let's watch it for a minute. I don't like taking losses like this. Should have been 10 cent out. 10 cent out of there. 10 cent out of there. Let me update my watch list. Fifteen, thirty, forty-five minutes of of bearish candles. Nothing really going crazy for real, though. Got by Viva. My BRTX sale. There we go. There we go. There we go. Now, let's watch this now. Check this out. Check this out. Check this out. So, it is sold this minute ago at, at four. It popped through this point. I was just saying how it had 45 minutes of red candles. And everything it was doing, it shouldn't have been doing. Let me put my trade again. Why didn't show my trades? Apply. Okay. Try this again. Show trades. Apply. Okay. 
Why didn't show my trades? Anyway, so I got in at 386, way back here somewhere, right? Looking for the move. I said $4. I called in the group. It hit 4 but I put my, my sale order at 406. Look right here. It hit 412. Mortals at 406. It's right about here. It didn't sell. I held it. I bought one more. Average down a little bit. I held it some more. It hit $4 again. Not quite the point I had of that. And it pulled back. So I know for a fact it must reverse. But look. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 red candles on the uh, MACD. Also looked at the, the RSI. It leveled out the whole time. Straight across. So it's telling me it has to run. So it pulled back. I didn't sell. I held on to it for a minute. And watched for it to move back up. I went over to my other account, traded some more stocks over there, look, and I saw it sell on my other account, looked back over here, and saw it ran through. So what I do is a lot of times is I don't watch the trades because it make me nervous. When I see red numbers over here, uncheck this. It gets me nervous sometimes. So I would not I would not buy it or I would not trade it because we phrase that. I would not watch it because it makes me nervous. But I trust the process and know that it must hit that point I have I have set. That's why most of my orders are limit, because a lot of times I don't watch the screen. I might turn away and do something different. Meanwhile, my stock is running. Look at ONCS. Back to what I was saying. ONCS and BRTX are moving in tangent, right? When ONCS moves, so does BRTX. BRTX move first, then next ONCS move. I noticed that this morning. My trades. So I just made. Uh, let me go backwards to my to my trades monitor. Orders field. So I have an average price of 385. I think it was. I averaged about one down, and I sold it at four dollars. Right. So I just made 15 cents per share. So 15 cents per share on a $3.85 stock, approximately 4%. It was nowhere near where I wanted to be at, but I didn't trust it going too much higher as it failed me twice. It's a, it's, look, my line was here earlier. Check this out. Look at this across. It hit once, almost hit, hit twice, Three times, four times, five times, six times, seven times, eighth time blew through. Hit that same line eight times before finding blew through. So green on the day, made a 15 cent a share. Green in small account on BRTX with 15 cent per share or we'll say four percent it's the end of the video for the day say green don't be greedy move right along hundred thousand insight ten thousand insight